What's up, YouTube? Today is a exciting day. Trash. Uh, today is a very exciting today. We received our package from Amazon. I've been patiently waiting at the door for this for the last three days. Finally came. Um, what this is is the unboxing of our new Comet Clutch from Amazon. There's not a lot of reviews at all. Um, at least on YouTube. There's a few on the actual Amazon website, but this is the unboxing. As you can see, brand new and sealed. It was literally just delivered as soon as I got home. Um, very excited to unbox this thing. So, let's take a look. Uh, another box. Well, at least it's packaged properly. Um, all right, they really take this thing shut. Very well packaged. So what this is, is not a replica, but this is a 780 Comet clutch for a one inch keyed shaft, quarter inch key, for a one in, I think, three sixteenths built. Uh, this is much smaller than my current clutch that I have. This one is serviceable, so you can take this one apart versus the CVT Tech clutch, which I have now, that's from Vegas Carts. Apparently, Vegas Carts is no longer supplying this clutch. It's the clutch that came with my kit for my golf cart. Uh, when I did the big block conversion in my golf cart, it came with the CBT Tech clutch. It took a crap on me. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know what caused the problem. I know what's wrong with it. The clutch spring is not engaging this, and it's not catching the belt. It's just sitting there slipping and burning out my belt. I thought it was a belt. Wasn't the belt didn't hurt to get to have another one now i have a spare so if mine ever does take a crap um something internally happened to my existing clutch which is on the golf cart still we're actually going to take it off apologize for the mess we're in the process of moving um my existing clutch was giving me issues and you can't take this one apart this one, as you can see, it's got the big nut on the end. You can't really take it apart because the spring will fly out on you. Um, if you crank this thing up, the primary will tighten, but it won't go anywhere because the spring inside is not allowing it to do anything. I sat there and messed with it for days. The last time I messed with it, and I actually ended up getting it to work again for a few weeks and started taking a crap. So in that process, I started reaching out to Vegas Carts to see what kind of warranty they could give me. And we reached out to the manufacturer directly. CVT didn't want anything to do with it. They demanded that I send them back the old clutch. I don't really want to give it up in case I can fix it. I'll mess with it later. But uh, like I said, we're in the process of moving. So golf cart needs to be drivable. I'm not dealing with pushing it around. It's been sitting for probably five weeks now um so we're gonna put this one on and see how it does it's for a uh any one inch keyed keyway shaft um it's definitely a lot smaller than mine i am slightly concerned that my bolt is not going to work um i may have to get a bigger bolt or just throw some washers on there temporarily so let's get the existing one taken off and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. So we got the clutch off. Um, as you can tell, this has a much larger bowl. This is the CVT Tech clutch that came with the kit. And this is my basically copy of the Vegas Carts 780 Slimline clutch that they sell. Um, they are currently on a back order just like everything else in this world right now. Um, so I decided to give this a shot. Amazon Prime, half the price, or almost half the price. 
about $100 less than the Vegas Carts one. I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, this is the broken one. I don't know if you can really hear that, but something in there failed. Um, I also noticed a little bit of uh, wear and tear on the clutch plate here. Not a big deal, but definitely a concern. It's just from the belt rubbing. Um, I was thinking about taking this apart and seeing if I can fix it because it's still a good clutch. There's nothing wrong with it other than it not working. Something came loose inside. I'm thinking about just taking a piece of all thread, two big nuts so I can crack this nut loose so the spring don't blow it off and see what failed in here. Could be as simple as just taking the weights. It looks like it's gonna throw out, throw out weight right there. Can't get it to zoom in, but um, this one is substantially taller than the other one that angle but um this is seven and a quarter wide roughly uh this one is about seven and a sixteenth so almost the same size except for it's shorter my existing bolt is not going to work on that one and also the hole diameter is much larger but so is the clutch on the vegas carts website um, I think the only difference is this has a black hat. That one has a polished hat like this one. I think this one failed due to high RPMs and heat because of the heat on the header. The way the header comes off, I think it got hot and high RPMs. My golf cart had issues with the gearing. I had to re-gear my cart twice to get that low gearing at a comfortable higher speed when i first put this on my cart only went about 21 miles an hour at 5,000 rpms granted i didn't do that for long because i don't want to blow the motor up so tried to keep it around 3,500 to 4,000 but it was, wouldn't go over 20 miles an hour kind of annoying to have that big motor and not be able to go anywhere um it's much torqueier than the existing two-cylinder robin engine that i had so we re-geared it to an 8 to 1 from a 13 to 1 with uh, CPP cart, cart parts plus speed gears. Uh, then we got it up to about 27, 28 miles an hour. Could have went a little faster, but again, hitting that high RPMs again. So I adjusted the uh, RPM limiter that I have to keep it where I wanted it, but if I really needed to go somewhere around something or someone, it had the extra balls. Now we have a six to one speed gear. We currently run 36 miles an hour with this clutch that's been giving me issues for a while um, and really bad, bad tires. So I think it'll go faster. It definitely runs 3000 RPMs at 20 over 20 miles an hour it's very quiet it's very nice um so we're gonna have to run to the hardware store and get another bolt for this one and we'll go from there so real quick before i run to the hardware store to get a bolt um slid right on i don't have to change out the keyway was slightly concerned um it's kind of hard to tell but the I'll have to do a slight motor adjustment and kick the motor to the driver's side just a little bit so the belt wears evenly because now this clutch isn't as thick so the clutch itself sits closer to the engine now and I don't want the belt to wear especially after I just bought a new $70 belt um, so the belt is about an inch longer that's all the way in it doesn't need to go in that far so I gotta get a different bolt and a bigger washer. Probably go with like a grade eight washer on the outside and maybe a grade five bolt. Because if it does break, I won't be able to drill it out. Can't really drill out five eights, or sorry, grade eight. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna run to the store, grab a new bolt, and we'll get this thing together and see how it does. So we got our other bolt. Um, it is a 3 8 by 24 fine thread. This is a three inch. The other one was a four inch. 
I got two different sets of washers because this is the existing washer and it's got a nice concave to it. I'm gonna try and prevent that. So we're gonna stack two washers because I could not find a grade eight bolt and the correct size and the diameter to fill the hole on the shaft. So this should work. Just gonna screw that in here. Could have probably went with a slightly shorter bolt. But at least I know, even if it does come loose, it's gonna be a while before it locks itself out. Nice and snug. Uh, let's get this belt back on real quick and fire it up. Belt is back on. Let's, uh, let's get this thing out of the backyard and take it for a ride.